All right, this is for uh, people that want to uh, mount their partition or their hard drive on boot up, okay? So I think um, this is probably a default way, I'm not sure, but uh, you know how you have your partition over here on the side? Some of them are mounted, some of them are not. Uh, if you want it to mount on when you boot up, uh, depends on the, the partition that you want. So if you don't have it, you have to do it manually. Like if you click on this, you see it asks for a password. And then when you type in your password and then it'll mount. Now if you don't want to see that ever again, you, you can auto mount it on boot up. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, so the first thing is you use uh, this one called Storage Device Manager. Uh, I think it's called PYSDM. Uh, I talked about this in the past, but uh, you look for the, the drives that you uh, want to mount. Okay, so let's say this one. Now, if you don't know, you know what the the, the drives belong to, like uh, SDC, what the fuck is that, or whatever it is, uh, you can always look at um, what the other one's called, Disk Utility on uh, Karmic here, and it'll tell you um, what is that drive. You see how you, I did this last time, and uh, they'll tell you uh, HDC is is this uh, one uh, point five uh, TB hard drive that I have. So that's a way if you don't know what uh, these are, okay? SDC one, you know, this is probably a SDC one right here, right? So there you go. That's how you know how many hard, how many um, gigabytes is that uh, partition. Uh, so that's what I use for that. But let's get back to this. Uh, if you wanted to move, uh, to mount it when you uh, boot up. You have to go in here. Don't change the title names or anything, because uh, when I did it, I, I changed it. it. Doesn't work. But uh, all you gotta do is go and uh, go to assistance here. All right. And what you gotta do is make sure this is checked. And uh, since I don't have any other user on my system, I just check this one. Allow any other user to mount. That's all I did. Uh, so I'm not gonna bother with any other configurations in here. I'm just gonna leave it by default but basically that's all I did and hit OK and next time um, uh, apply the changes here okay and next time when you uh, boot up it should auto mount um, that drive or that partition now if you have any troubles like some error or something like that um, this is what you have to do to get back to normal okay because sometimes if you mess up, um, you have to uh, go to your F step and uh, get rid of it, or try unmounting it. But uh, I tried that; it didn't work. So this is what I did to solve that problem. Go to uh, um, type this in sudo gedit slash etc slash F stab because basically that's a front end to F stab. And in here, <coughs> all you gotta do is. Uh, you see how all these other ones are like you know weird numbers don't touch those just touch the the ones down here where it's like nice and smooth these are the ones that you just changed it so just delete any of these at the bottom that the drives that you were you were trying to edit and uh, save it okay and you go back to normal like you were before and then you can test it out again so if you have any kind of errors delete these lines at the bottom and save it okay that's my advice there and uh, that's it that's all you gotta do if you want to uh, mount it now let me see I give you um, what is it called so the the one that I use to view uh, you know the what was it called the, the disk utilities disk utilities and this one is um, it's called gnome disk utilities if you don't have it already and the other one is uh, the PYSDM, which is um, what is that? The storage device manager here. This one. So that's that. Um, go get it, and uh, that's it. That's all I gotta say for that.